जय श्री कृष्ण हरनाथ पागल हरनाथ पार्ट फोर लेटर सेवेंटी फाइव एड्रेस टू श्रीजुक्त भूतनाथ मुखोपाध्याय मानभूम बाबा आई रेड योर लेटर एंड लाफ्ट अ वन आइड मैन इज आस्किंग सम वन हु इज ब्लाइंड अ बोथ आईज अबाउट द वे बाबा बाबा डियर पीपल हु हैव नेवर सीन मी टेक मी टू बी समबडी ग्रेट after reading newspaper reports or hearing from some persons those newspapers and persons are all our own i wonder how many people are being deceived by believing in their words however baba i alone know what i really am so i say don't be at ease after placing such a heavy burden on me i am merely a jobbing porter I have no concern about the quality of the burden once placed on my head I carry so I say baba do put the load on my head but do not remain carefree caution me sometimes and check your own treasure baba dear I used to have a shop at some time in the past those who knew me then called me the shopkeeper even now they call me as such since there was a palm tree at some point of time the pond got the name palm pond now if there be no palm tree or even the pond is transformed to dry land the name palm pond still persists in my case too this epithet of palm pond persists baba i am lying all in a heap with broken limbs without any strength to rise up once i had climbed high i have fallen from that height therefore the hurt is so severe however i am undergoing the fruits of my own karma you should be careful from my example that's what i have to tell you baba baba dear why are you so frightened because of this world it won't do to fear once you have come to this world baba dear where will you go leaving this the heaven is part of the world and so is hell but only place outside the world are the lotus feet of krishna one who wishes to go out of this world must take refuge at the lotus feet of krishna with body mind and soul Once anybody takes shelter at these feet he has nothing to fear anywhere otherwise even the vaikuntha of vishnu is not a safe place shun the evil company by deliberate effort those who do not experience joy in discussion about krishna consider them to be really evil company and never open out your heart to them never argue on the subject of religion as that might harm the tender branches open out your heart only to those who are close to your heart or else don't baba your marriage has taken place why do you rue it baba is this a matter of happiness or sorrow we name this happiness as sorrow that is why it becomes terrifying that is why people fear worldly life can such a joyous play be sorrowful fai baba never think that now that you two have become one that's only in name try to be one in reality both of you go on taking the sweet krishna name with joyous heart you will find how joyful this world is never nurture in your mind any worldly ambition for it is the principal enemy to lead men astray remain satisfied with whatever income you get automatically and knowing the lord to be the master of all make your actions holy so that none can find any fault may all be satisfied with your deeds and behavior if more people are happy with anybody he surely is lord's beloved 
So I say, do your deeds with the purest mind so that none can ever blame you in any way. Deeds which appear unjust but have to be done. Delay and stall those off for the morrow. But in performing a good deed, you must not delay even for a moment. Do it as soon as the idea comes to your mind. Never be happy at the sorrow of others. Sympathize with him even if he is your worst enemy and try to give him succour if you can. Give food to the hungry even if you have to go without it. Maintain a desire to remove the sorrows of the afflicted to the best of your abilities. Try to be endeared to all. Cherish the sweet Krishna name day and night as a treasure all your own. There is no necessity to perform any religious ceremonies but the name. But you may do Sandhya if you so desire. You will achieve complete mental peace thereby. Baba, get the book and read it. Write to me afterwards. Know that I am indeed yours and be kindly disposed towards me. Baba, I get about 25-30 letters daily and cannot manage to reply in this my old age. So I say Baba, to write to me occasionally or better still, you write to me frequently and I shall reply sometimes. Don't be angry at the incoherent talk of a madcap like me. I am well informed this to Hati. How is Ram Narayan? My love and affection to him and to you. All the rest depends on Krishna, your protege Haro. Joy Sri Kushum Haranath.